In the previous tutorial, you have seen how to create Azure DevOps pipeline without using ML5. And also we have seen how to add the Playwright report into the Azure DevOps pipeline. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to publish the test results. So here I will navigate to the Azure DevOps and I will select the pipeline which we have created in the previous tutorial. So here I will edit the pipeline. So we have to add a one task called publish test results. So simply here I will search for the test results. So we have to add the task called publish test results. So let's select this particular task and let's add the task here. So I will select the task once again after adding into the task list. So here we have to add the display name. So this is nothing but the display name is nothing but the task name. So you can give any name here. So I am giving the task name as publish test results. And here we are generating the playwright test results by using the JUnit format test results. If you look at the repository of Playwright Automation Framework. So here I will go to the Playwright configuration file. In the line number 26, we are generating the JUnit format test results. By using this particular test results, so we are publishing the those test results into the Azure DevOps pipeline. So that's the reason here I'm selecting the test result format as JUnit. And here we have to provide the .xml file name. So if you see the this configuration file and here we are generating the .xml file called e2e-junit-results.xml file. So under the test hyphen results folder, so we are generating this particular .xml file. So we have to provide the starting name of the .xml file. So we have to provide this e2e in this test results file. That's it. So no need to do anything. And simply you can save and queue the job. So I will select the Windows 2022 and I will run the build. So it will take few seconds to start the execution of the tasks. So right now it has started executing the initialized job. Then it is checking all the preconditions firstly and then so we are we have installed the Node.js. Right now, we are installing the other preconditions. So firstly, it will install the NPM. Then it will start installing the Playwright browsers. If you look at on the right side, so we are installing the Playwright browsers. And we are running the Playwright automation tests. So currently we are running the two automation tests. One is the UI test and another one is the API test. So it will take few more seconds. It will take around 40 seconds to complete the test execution. So let's wait for a few more seconds. And after that, so it is going to add the Playwright report as an artifact and then finally it is going to publish the test results in the format of JUnit. So right now it is running the last task here. If you look at the other tasks all are passed and also we are able to add the artifact and also we are able to publish the test results also. And if you see here, our build is success. So let's go back to the job. So here you will see the one tab called tests. Simply click on that tab 
and here you will be finding the test results here so we had total test is 2 so this is the total test and 2 are passing 0 failed and this is the pass percentage so this is the run duration that means the time it has taken to execute the all the automation test and also so we can put the filter here so based on the filter all the tests will be listed here so we can select any test here and it will show all the details on the right side and if any work items are tagged for this particular test so that will be shown here and screenshots and trace information and video will be added here if those things are enabled in your test automation framework so in our case we have only enabled screenshot and trace information so that's the reason we are able to see the screenshot and trace information in the format of zip so if you have enabled video also that is the recording of the test execution so that video will be added added as a attachment to this particular test so this is how we can publish the test results in the azure devops pipeline